my glue gun. So this is what we're working with. This is just, um, this is one of the larger ones. She has 24 and all the way up to 36. This is about a 34. I have my little sign. I have some pumpkins. Like I said, I have some picks. Um, I always start with my bow though, okay? I always start with my bow. Because I want to put on my bow first and then put on in my picks and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and make a bow, guys. Good night, Haley. That's a lot. Hi, Tom. I forgot to pin post. Oh, isn't that adorable? That's all right. If you need to know where the sign came from, I'll just let you know. Hi, Shirley. I got the broom from, let me type it in. Cat, you're going to, here. Come here, cat. There, I'll move that so that way you can go onto your carpet, okay? There you go. Oh, I got to make my cat happy. Half penny. I think it's maybe boutique or, um... Gosh, I can't remember now. I should have went on. <laughs> I should have, should have, should have, would have, could have. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to be using this one because this is going to be a fun one. It's going to kind of match the sign, not too much, but this is going to be a fun um, broom. It's going to have a lot of, well, obviously Halloween. And I just want to bring in those oranges from the sign. The sign is super simple yet really cute. So I'm going to bring in some maybe orange solid. I have Happy Halloween with it. It'll match the spider webs on the sign. And then I have some bats. So just break it up. I may put some black. Hold on. Let me find the black. Hold, please. I'm holding this. Well, let it roll away. <laughs> Let me, I like this. We may use that. And these are all from Deco Exchange. Hi, Jesse. Um, on Deco Exchange, I do have an affiliate. Go ahead and click the affiliate link at pin posted at the top of the page. I'd really appreciate it. Why am I using these? I gotta use my good scissors. Doy, I keep forgetting I have good scissors from Miss Jelly. Okay, I'm going to keep these out. I'm all discombobulated, guys. Bear with me here for a minute. Okay. Let's see how I want to do this. I think I want this in the background. And it's just a super simple, cute bow. It's um, my version of a Terry bow, <clears throat> but it's a little bit different. Because I always have longer tails at the bottom because the bottom is longer than the top but I want to make sure that the top is filled with some uh, ribbon as well. So I'm going to do about a, let me see, let me see. I always put my, my bow right about here. i make sure, there we go. But you can, as long as you won't, let's do a 12 inch for right now because I can always cut it off, but you can't add. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Also, oh my gosh, guys, I forgot. I'm running a sale. And, you know, <laughs> I ran a sale before. However, uh, this one, if you type in firework, all in capitals, F-I-R-E, F-I, F-I-R-E, W-O-R-K. I have not posted this yet to um, my page. Type in firework, all summer and spring wreaths, including 4th of July, are 20% off, guys. 20% off. Go hit it up. <laughs> and, of course, if you purchase a wreath, you will get a free Fiesta medal. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going out 6 inches on my 
um, bow loops and I'm going to do, let's do two. And nobody says that you have to start with a 2.5 inch ribbon. <laughs> you can start out with a 1.5. You can start out with, um, three loops, whatever you want, whatever you want, however you decide. Okay. So that's going to be the kind of the backing that I'm looking for. Okay. Let me go ahead and trim that up. I know my arm's in the way. I'm sorry. Just trying to make sure that it's like butter, those scissors, like butter. Let me put it away. You know what? I had some fun. I'm looking at my ribbon stash and I'm like, mm, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? No, I do like this one. Super, super cute. But I do have some spiders. Hmm. Let me think. I like the I like this one better. Okay, so this is a directional <clears throat> ribbon. Hi Tracy. Yeah, you should, Haley. <laughs> Tracy, I hope you're feeling better. I hope your eye's good. Okay, so they're with the directional. A lot of people can't stand it. So I'm just measuring out maybe about an, an inch-ish. I'm going to twist it in. I want to make just a smaller loop. And I just realized these need to be going up. And that's okay. I'll show you how I did that. See, I'm all discombobulated today. That's what that's what happens when you have too much fun at night and then you have to go live in the morning. <laughs> or you have to work in the morning. I'm going to show you how I did that. So instead of putting the, the tail down, I put it up. That's all I did, guys. So it would have worked the other way. Hold on. Darn. If I, I knew that it was going to be fine. All discombobulated. Guys, bear with me here. Good golly. There's no right or wrong to a bow. It just happens. That Harley Davidson wreath was awesome, CD. I love that Harley Davidson. If you haven't checked his out, it's really, really cool. Okay. So that's what it looks like. That's what it's supposed to look like. Whee. I gotta stop having fun. No, I will never stop having fun. Absolutely not. Not even when Ricky is older. Because it's all about him. And I was kind of embarrassing him last night. <laughs> so what he told me. I'm like, whatever. So I'm going to do one loop. Okay. It's just a sweet little bow. And I'm going to do one in the middle to cover up all my things that I'm going to use to attach. So all I do is do a loop, a little loop, as big as you want or as small as you want. Okay. And it needs to come up here. There we go and cut. Okay, so that's our bow. Hi, Amy, how are you? Yes, it is upside down. No, 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 because when it goes on, it's gonna go on like this. So all the pumpkins are gonna be facing one direction. Isn't that a band? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Isn't One Direction a band or something? I don't know. I don't know all those crazy kid lingo these days. All right. If you ever watch my lives, I love to use a zip tie. That's cute, CD. <laughs> okay. 
So I, I love to use um, zip ties to cinch my bows together. I just feel like it's um, extra, it strengthens it just a little bit more. You don't have to do this part. You can go in, I have brown pipe cleaners. You can go in, take the bow off and twist it really tight. You're not gonna see, I promise, you're not gonna see that zip tie at all. And if you would like to purchase this, it is on my site right now. And there's a picture of a face made on a Facebook Live. So you can go out and snag it. I'm just making sure before I pull it tight that everything is where I want it. Okay. Smashing pumpkins one direction. There you go. Oh, yay, Jennifer! That's so cool. And thank you so much for uh, posting those pictures. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy that you're happy with the Frankensteins. Ah, uh, that set my heart. That set my heart. So go, go to the fitting, go to the fitting. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna run my um, pipe cleaner. I know it's like overkill when I do this, but it's just the way I do it. So it's just so I can attach it. Now you can attach it. You can put a um, another zip tie in here and then attach it to your broom. I like the pipe cleaners. I can hide it however you want to. But like I said, this is just like a um, grapevine. So now I'm gonna take that sticker off. Come on now. There we go. Put that over there. All right. So I'm going to find where I want it. Because I want it in the middle. So now you see that some ribbons are going up the broom and some are coming down. So I'm going to turn it over. That's why I don't, I don't fluff my bows until late after. And now all I'm going to do is wrap it around, okay? And I find where these, this meets and I do it right above because I'm gonna twist it all the way up. I'm gonna cut off the excess up here. I'm going to take my um, Needle nose pliers because I don't want to get burnt. I'll put a little bit of glue in here oh, for my glue gun. Little glue back there so you don't see it. And now I'm going to run that pipe cleaner through the back. Now everything is going to stay together. And I'm going to leave it for just a minute while it cools down. Oh, Wendy, you got the leopard ribbon? Thank you so much, Karen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you can, Wendy. <laughs> I was going to get it, but I was late to the party trying to get that leopard ribbon. Oh, Haley, you do? Yes, I do this with my um, brooms. Like if you look at any of my brooms, I always have longer tail, one longer side, longer tails, and then it kind of comes up the side. Okay, then we flip it over. I am just pulling out the loops. I'm not fluffing. If I fluff now, it is going to get smirched. So I am just pulling the loops where I want them. There we go. Okay. Let me cut these while I'm here. Now we're going to add the fun stuff. We're going to start adding the picks. 
I'm going to show you how to make some picks if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. If you have, um, I have really cute little pumpkins with faces on them that I want to use. Super easy. I tell you not to, when you have a pick and you're just using a portion of the pick, don't throw away your pick stems. You can reuse them. Hi, Mary. Hello, hello. Come on in. We're making a witch's broom. When I look, make these brooms, I think of the witch that owns this broom. And this witch is kind to children. But she's still a witch, but she's kind to children. You know, some witches, like that movie. Can you see that? You know, I'm just gonna leave it this way so that way <laughs> I, I don't mess up the shot. Um, that movie uh, called Witches, you know how they have, um, they don't like children. Um, this one, this witch absolutely loves children. So she's gonna make it inviting. So I have these cute pumpkins. Now these are from, uh, where did I get these? Craft Outlet. I thought those would be cute. I also have, uh, behind the camera, I'm so sorry. Squizzy. I also have all of this. Hold on. I have an extra... I'm gonna put a um, spider in there, spider web. I have this one, I think this is really cute, that's gonna go with the pumpkins. Because on the sign it has bats and spiders, but just add a little pumpkin to it. This I got from Claudia's. Then I don't know if I'm going to put these in. I may save these for the fall, I don't know yet, I do like them. I may put them in first. I have a lot more of those though. These are fun. I wanna put some of those in there. I've got this one. Where did I get this one from? Ashland. Don't know. See how cute that is? It's a little face on it. Then I have some of the berries. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not using that. I also have this one, this one I got from uh, Kellum's Creations. How fun is that? Look at the inside, can you see that? It's polka dot. So it's stripe, orange and black stripe around, and then it's polka dot in the middle. I thought that was adorable, I love polka dots. Hi Missy, hello, hello. <laughs> Marion. Marion. Okay. So now you use any picks you want. I am just going to start adding the picks. Sorry, I know this is going right towards the camera. And you can use leftover picks that you have. I do like this. So I may just incorporate now this. I can go ahead. Well, I may want to use that. Hold on. The longer ones I like to use when I'm making new picks. I'm going to show you how. That one's going to get torn away. So now I always start with the base and I'm going to work it in just like I would with a grapevine. I want to push all of this. Well, I don't want to push all of it to the top, but I'm going to cut this down just a little bit. I'm going to put it in my glue pot, swirl it around just a little bit. That's a lot of glue. Don't burn myself and put it in. So just use something as your base. And if you don't like 
they like I'm not a fan but I like the leaves cut it off I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do yeah I'm just gonna cut them off and I can use them on another project I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the top and I'll do the same one with the other later on. I'm just putting a little bit of glue to make sure that it doesn't come off. So did y'all have a good fourth? I hope. You know what, our dogs, Sandy was the one freaking out, but the one, Shelby, the one that normally freaks out during thunderstorms, she was absolutely fine. She was absolutely fine. We were like, holy cow. This one I'm going to leave a little bit longer and put it all in. Maybe this glue pot is not up. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to pull back and I'm going to put it in. I should be getting happy mail today. <laughs> and when I do, I may go live again and show you. I may, I may, I may. Okay. So now we have, you know, some, some foliage. Now let's do some funds. Let's do some berries. Because why not? And I'll take about three and I'll pull them right off. And I'll do it in a group of three. And then you're able to spread these out and whatnot. So I'm going to add them up here just a little bit. So yes, you can. You can have all sorts of picks when doing this. It doesn't have to be, oh, you have to do all florals or you have to do all um, whimsical picks. You know, put them together. Try them out. Hello, hello, Nikki. I spent the whole day changing out the season in my bathroom. Right. <laughs> Missy, that's awesome. Hi, Diane. So I have three, a three, a set of three. I need to do that. I was just looking at the picks that I was going to use today, and I'm just like, oh, where did I get it? Get the broom? Did somebody answer that? Half Penny Boutique on Etsy. Half Penny Boutique on Etsy. Last year I did kits with them, um, but this year I'm not going to do kit because you can do this. You can do it on your own it's just the kit the the price of the broom shipping itself uh, because they're long it gets a little expensive so <laughs> now before i do anything with these i'm going to let that glue cool cool so now see how we have some interesting so i have three more i'll put them in another project I do like these a lot. I think they're cute. They're fun. Um, but I'm going to rip them apart. Hi, Rosie. Oh. I tell you, Claudia, her stuff is made quality. That's hard to pull apart. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have a fun one up here. These I'm gonna no, I'm gonna keep that. I wanna see where I'm gonna enter this in. I need my pliers. I need my pliers. If you wanted to, you could add some candy to this. You could do lollipops. I like the the pumpkin and just the fun versions. 
going to put this. Come on now. You're just laying it in. Cut it a little bit shorter. Because it's white, I want to make sure that it's hidden and you can't see. There we go. Just putting it in. And I know you can't see when I'm doing it on this side. I'm, that's why I made it towards this way so that way you can see. It's just like doing a grapevine, guys. And if you haven't done a grapevine, do a broom first. If you're terrified of grapevines, which you shouldn't be, do a broom. You know, that may be a little bit better for you. Let me just realize this has a seam. I'm going to take this out. <laughs> I didn't realize they had seams. Well, I guess what that would make sense, right? Yeah. All right. We're going to cut again. I just saw that. She stitches everything. And the seam was pointing up. I didn't want the seam to show. So I'm just going to turn it around. Hi, Diana. I'm just curling it a little bit. I'm doing the same thing though and putting it in the same spot. Like I said, guys, brain's not all here just yet this morning. I need the coffee to kick in. <laughs> As of this is iced coffee. The bow is not fluffed. I am not touching that thing right now. So now these are going to go like this. Oh, that's going to be fun. This is so much fun. Ugh. So I want to put one on this side in here. That one's going to be a little bit shorter. Yeah, yeah. So what is everybody's plans today? We need to, once I'm off this live, we need to pick up all the fireworks from the road in our driveway. We always do it the day after. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna hide it right inside where that bow is. Okay, do you see that? Um, yeah, we don't like to leave a mess out, but of course you're too tired <laughs> from the evening. So we just wait until the morning and then we'll take up a room and we'll sweep up everything and throw it away. This reason is going to take forever. What? This is super simple. Oh, the one that you're doing, Hallie. I'm sorry. See? Like I said, guys, give me some grace today. I'm bringing this one just a little bit lower. That glue is gonna drip. Na na na, na na na, na na na. See, this is why I don't fluff my bow yet. How fun is this? And we haven't even gotten to the like cool stuff. Well, that is cool. Now I'm thinking, do I want to add the curly cues? I think so. Why not? I'm here. I'm doing it. Oh. Hubby. Click on top. Ooh. Nice. like this don't throw this away we're not going to use this but don't throw it away don't throw it away don't or do <laughs> I'm not the boss of you you do you but I like to make other projects so oh, see how cool that is when you open it up a little this is going to create some interest on the other side And I still have my sign that I need to put in. 
I want to put this a little bit closer to the bow. Ay. Hold on. I want to make sure. And if glue gets on the ribbon, that's fine. Let it cool first, though. Let it cool first, and then you can take it off. Not that big of a deal. Look how cool. Callum's Creations, guys. But don't go there. Don't go there yet. I want to buy some more. <laughs> that fun? That is just so, so fun. I love that. I love, love, love that. I like that it's like interesting. Like when you look at it, oh, okay, that's stripes and it swirls. And you look closer. Oh, peekaboo. Oh, there's some polka dots in there. This I'm going to put right here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that right in the middle. And I'll use this another time. That's going to be fun. And it's like a velvety feel. Like the polka dot is, um, I want to say canvas, but the black and white, it, fed, it feels velvety. Almost like a, no, almost like a soft fabric, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Put a little bit of glue. And I'm putting it right in. So when I'm putting these in, ugh, let me show you up here so that way you can see what I'm doing. So when I'm putting them in, I'm putting them down and then through. Okay. I don't know if I want to add these now. Should I add those pumpkins to it? You tell me. Well, I get the glitter out of my eye. I don't know how I got glitter. I'm not working with glitter, but I got glitter in my eye. It's almost like flannel, yeah. Where did you say you got that? Debbie the Pick. This is from Kellum's Creations .com. Kellum's Creations .com. Kellum K E L. Oh, K-E, hold on, K-E-L, I have to type it out and then I'll know. Or maybe that's not the way you spell it. No, don't add it. It's something like that. If you do a search, no pumpkins, no pumpkins, pumpkins are gone. They'll be on another project. Not that big of a deal. However, I do like these. I do like these guys. And I only have two. And that's going to create some fun pop. This one I'm going to throw away because that's wire. These are great for any areas that you need to hide just a little bit, you can do so. So we're gonna wait on those. And then I'm going to take this, cause we have to have a little spider. We have to have a little spider. So this is a um, spider web that I got from, I wanna say Craft Outlet. So I'm gonna put it on in the bottom. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna have a spider hanging, like it's crawling up. But I'm going to take off the floral tape first because that's just driving me nuts. Columns. Yes, thank you, Missy. Yeah, I can't spell. Never. I told you guys I can't spell. I. She was on Facebook and I can't remember. She, she didn't say she was having a sale, but she had a picture of something. Of another pick that I, I think I wanted or I may have wanted, and um, I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I went in there and I saw these. And I'm like, oh, the other picks went right out the door. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not gonna take get those. Let me get my spotters. 
So I have other pumpkins that we're going to use then. I love these. I like the way that these look. They're polka dot. They're polka dot. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So we're gonna use some of those in there. Let's get the spider though. I got all my goodies. Woo ha 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 ha. So this is orange. Oh man, I had an orange. Spider, that's not gonna work. I gotta go in my other bag. Hold on. I got so many goodie bags. <laughs> Is it in this one? I thought I had like a. Let me get a couple of these out while I'm here. That one didn't have one either. I thought I had just black spiders. Ah, we'll add a purple. Why not? Or green. <gasps> we can add a green. So there's some green in the um, pick and a little bit of green in here, and we'll tie that in. Oh, Hallie. That's awesome. That's awesome, and I'm upset at you at the same time. How about that? Okay, so I'm just going to add the little spider in. How cute. We haven't even added the sign yet, guys. So with my glue gun, just adding a little bit. So I'm going to put the legs through. Through the little web, if I can. There we go. Let that chill. Don't mess with that just now. Don't do it. Don't mess with it. Okay. Now I'm going to add, just pulling off the glue strings because they're always everywhere. So when you have glue strings, if they're just bothering you so much, just take a blow dryer. When you're done with your creation, take a blow dryer in the lowest setting and just go over it. Hi, Connie. Hi, Tish. Where is she now? Connie, what's going on? Did you have a good fourth? Where am I going? I love these pumpkins. Like I want the face. I want the face of the pumpkin. There it is. And witches are always a little extra. Ooh, what am I trying to do? Cut glue with my good scissors? Uh-uh. I can't do that. Yes, I had a fabulous, we had a fabulous 4th of July. It's what we all needed. Just a release and to have fun. Um, right across our neighbors that way. Um, right before we set off fireworks, their son had, um, it's his 18th birthday. So, of course, there was a parade for him, and they were going through. I just cut that. Um, it's just, it looks like wood, but it doesn't look like wood. I just cut it, and this one I'm going to put at the top. This is going to be my focal point up here. Um, so that was fun. Everybody was honking their horns. We're like, what the heck is going on? Who's, you know, 
who's being a jerk? That's what we thought initially. We're like, who's being a jerk? Nobody could be a jerk on the 4th of July. Um, but it was for, yeah, no, I'll save these for another project. Now that I'm looking at it, probably, some of you were probably in your head, didn't post it, but like, no, don't use those. Don't use those. I'm not going to use them. Just going to cut this in half. How do I want them? With making your own picks, it's easy for you to see how you want it to lay. And I just need a little piece. Oh, I have one right here. Dang. This one I already made. I So I poked it through. What you do is you poke it through because these are just styrofoam. You make a hole. Then you take some glue and put it right in the hole. Let it set. Don't move it. And then you could use it as a pick and put it into your project. I'm just gonna put it on the side. I just want it peaking just a little bit. I don't want it to be, it's just an interesting piece. It's gonna be like, oh, what's that? And if they don't go in really well, cause it's so tight, like the grapevines, take your pliers and push it down in, okay? that was still warm that's okay so now when I fluff my my tails out some can go over it but you're gonna see it from every direction when it's hanging on your door you're just gonna see it from every direction all the sides are gonna be filled with stuff that's what's fun where am I going Where's the other one? there it is let me just use this one we're playing we're having some fun I know I may be a little bit boring today. Sorry, I don't have Dan, but I don't have, I never really have a plan. I try to have a plan when I'm doing wreaths, but with a broom, it's just whatever picks I like work together. And then I just go from there. See, I just put it in there. I'm gonna let that set really quick. I'm not gonna move it. We're almost done, guys. Then we're going to add our sign. I wish I had a black bat. That I need more of. I tried to find one, and I didn't... I couldn't find it. I couldn't find a black bat. So while that's cooling, let me... There you are. So, you could have it hanging straight. I want to kind of have it hanging... To the side a little bit where the um, the tails are so I'm gonna just punch a hole right in the corner punch it a couple times and then your option you can use ribbon through this you can use a pipe cleaner Making it a little bit bigger. It's not the prettiest because it's tiny. This is jewelry. This is for jewelry. Um, but I just I just need a hole poked in there. And I'm gonna go run. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a pipe cleaner yet or if I'm going to okay, that's see that's good enough. Um, if I'm just going to put a little bit of so I have that there. Let's put this over here, maybe. Mm, over here. Yeah, I like that. So you want interest all the way through your broom. Ooh. I'm just going to put it over here. And I'm going to turn it. And if you wanted to, I can definitely cut these shorter, like this one. And you can curl them up if you wanted to. I always like my very end ribbon. I'll do the loops. 
And then you can see the, the back, the other ones. It's however you want to do it. So these loops will be coming out just like the pick. These will be coming down. Okay, let me get, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a pipe cleaner for right now. I don't have any really tiny, um, let me get a pipe cleaner, guys, sorry. Any tiny um, ribbon. I, I do have this, <gasps> no I do. I lie so hard. Guys, I'm a filthy, filthy liar. I'm a filthy liar. Where do I purchase the broom? I get them from Half Penny Boutique on Etsy. She's got, oh, that's another thing. She's got scented. You can um, opt for cinnamon or not. If you like cinnamon and it's gonna be in your own house or you're making an order for somebody that likes cinnamon, Go ahead and do so. I went to, I'll say it again, I say this every time I do a broom, I went to a craft fair um, and I had them out. They were all scented. And I this one lady was like, oh, I want to purchase one of your wreaths so bad, but I cannot come into your area because she was either allergic or the smell just, you know, upset her. So you have to be mindful of that. So mm -hmm. I use non-scented. You can always put scent on them, or your customers can with essential oils. Um, it all depends. I'm just making the hole a little bit bigger here over here because I missed a whole bunch of comments. So I'm going to try to have Penny Boutique. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, Dan's still sleeping. He's still sleeping. He's snoring up a storm over there. I'm just making it a little bit bigger. And I just haven't gotten around to um, getting a bigger hole punch, but this is absolutely fine. So this is just black twine that I'm using. Okay, let me show it to you a little bit better. I can't remember where I got this, but it's just black twine. You can get it in any craft section. So I'm just gonna pull it out because I initially wanna wrap it around and then have, I, st I want this to be exposed. So the sign is gonna go in and outside of my bow around there's no rhyme or reason for it. Like this is gonna go halfway this way and then halfway this way. So that way you can still see it. I'm gonna take it. This is another reason why I don't fluff yet. I'm just gonna take it, make a knot. Make sure that sign is where I want it to be. Then so far I have a clean back except for this one right here. And I want to clip that off. I just saw it. We're gonna clippy clippy you. Yes, we are. Clippy clippy. Done. So now I'm gonna come back around through the bow, underneath the bow. And then just tie it again and let these hang. And if they start to untwine, that's even better because it just adds to the character. It's just an extra, an extra little element. All right, guys. Let me get, where did it go? There it is. Give me a second, guys. 
I am going to put this up on my easel. So now I'm going to just go up the top. I'm going to show you all the way to the bottom. It's fun. If you wanted more on the bottom over here, you could totally do so. Let me just put it, let's set it so that way. There we go. So let me unplug all of this before I burn myself. That's the last thing I want to do. We were good yesterday. So you could move this around, take this down or curl it up more. Completely up to you. I love brooms. I love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just a different element. We do um, great finds. We do uh, door hangers. I like brooms. I like brooms. Not because I'm a witch, but I like brooms. So if you do do a broom, think about the witch that you're making the broom for. <laughs> now you can have a totally ugly witch with black roses and just you know snakes and everything. You do you. <laughs> I have two more brooms that I am definitely going to be uh, um, designing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I wasn't really talkative today. I'll have a beautiful Sunday. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Once again, be kind, have fun. And we're, you're not alone. We're all in this together. On that note, so long, farewell. I'll be done saying adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you who. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful day. Awkwardly walking behind the camera since Dan is not here. Bye, guys.